Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Prospect Mansion 2016. My name is Italiason and we are here in season number four. Oh well technically five apparently. Season 2020. We leveled up in the off-season, so we have new stats. Let's showcase that, I guess. Here we go. We reached 84 Mountain. We got a good level up for that. And that is also our peak. We're not getting 85, 84 is what we get. And we, I don't think we erased... No, oh, that's 2016. We want 2019. I don't think, no, we did not race anything other than the Grand Tours last, last year. We were not cleared for the... For the... For the what's it called? Jesus Christ. The... Uh, World Championship, that's what it's called. So here we are, we are in the third season of Astana. And we are racing Tour Down Under. We have our 84 Mountain and 79 Hill. Most of just a warm brace trying to do what we did last time around. Although I don't think that's going to that likely to happen. Anyways, we have started training mainly as a... Um, Puncture, I think it's called. Um, basically, a classic rider. And by the way, we are racing more than just three races this season because that was a disaster. Oh, the broken arm didn't help. But yeah, we are still in Astana. They did not change the sponsors. And we're just here to get some race days, really. I do need to fill the gap that was left by the, um, the what's it called? The broken arm. I think I lost two episodes because of that, I think. Two or three, so try to fill that out. So our schedule is um, Tour of Australia, Tour of Malaysia, Paris Nice. Then we have uh, some other races. I think it's the well, that's like this. It's either Catalonia or. Something like that, or Basque country. I don't remember which one, and then I think we have the old one as well. So I think we buy both those, and then we have. Right, it's all Pais Vasco. That's what it's called, Basque country. And uh, Catalonia, and uh, then we have the Hilly Classics. In. Uh, what's what they're called there? Liege, Beston, Liege. Um, uh, Amstel Gold Race, and uh, La Flèche Chalon. Those three, then we have uh, the, uh, we're going there as helpers, most likely. I'm not out for, of, I'm not out to win them, even though that would be nice if we did. But, um, and then we have uh, Romandie, Tour de Romandie, in Switzerland, and then we have the Giro, and then I don't remember did I if I did uh, Switzerland or not, but maybe Switzerland and Tour de France. And there we go. That's this stage. It's flat. <laughs> now for the best moments of the day. And 
after Tour de France, we have the Vuelta. And then, then we're done unless there's a World Championship. Which I'm not going to sh sh show as usual if it is. But we'll see. Let's have some fun, shall we? On the climb here. I wonder where um Greetings to all. What's his face is? Let's see, have we started to heal proper yet? Here we go, this should work. This is going to be fun if we can just get up. Let's see just how much gap we get. Because they go, they're going to ride hard to catch me. I want that climb to stress it. Point. Well, since I am in the break, I might as well try to actually keep... Keep myself ahead. I don't think it's going to last, but... That was fun. Oh, it's actually lasting. They seem to be unable to catch up. It seems to be too hilly for them to actually catch up. Cool. Good luck. There we go. They caught. They caught up. Good. Uh, good job, guys. That was fun. At least do something, right? I don't think I'll be able to do the all four jersey things that I did in the previous previous trip to Australia. But hey, I got into a breakaway. But yeah, hopefully I should be able to get some good results now that um, overall good results now that I am uh, what's it called 84 in uh, Martin stat I should be able to follow better in the end We'll see. I'm going to try to ride hard in the final kilometers up that hill. That starts with roughly 10 left after this downhill here. And we have some uphill, which is my territory. So we'll see if we can't get a gap. Second, not bad. Not bad to not be a sprinter at all. That hopefully pushes me up in the general classification. And uh, gives me a shot at the uh, fourth overall, and that should also. No. That doesn't matter in this game. In real life, I think that will also give me the Climbers jersey to wear for the next episode, or next race, sorry. But yeah, this time around it's much more likely that I actually am going to be able to do well. Here we go. Obviously the uh, quality of the race here is not as good as it is in SAA Grand Tour, but still there's Good riders here as well. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. The route is fairly hilly, so there should be plenty of action. The heat will weigh on today's race. The riders will have to drink plenty. A surprise attack. He's probably just trying to force his teammates away from the bunch. I saw that uh, 
for example, Roman Bardet is here in this race. So <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see if I can do what I have done before in this. I don't think so, but we'll see. Let's take a look at our teammates. Clark is not good. Dave McCarthy is okay. Martinelli is a sprinter. So he should be the one protecting me, I reckon. Funk is getting watched, so you can't actually click him in. Lutsenko is going to do well. And Komachev is struggling to keep up with the Pelton on flats. And Funk is... Okay. Let's have you two do some relaying. Let us take part in it, so the breakaway will be closer when the fun climb comes. <clears throat> Right. Gonna try to take the stage win, obviously. We we'll have to make up for potential stage win losses last season. But we'll see. Okay, McCarthy and Clark add to the pace. Also, Lutsenko add to the pace. Senko, McCarthy go, you go, and me go. Stupid. Now, damn it. Oh well. <clears throat> Not too bad. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.